shockwaves all through City Hall this afternoon. Of course, it was Mayor Bing who hired Warren Evans, and some here say it was Mayor Bing who fired him. The mayor will have a lot more to say a little bit later, but for now, we have a short statement from him. We appreciate the time and dedication Warren Evans has given to the Detroit Police Department. He has put the department on a path to reducing crime. You're looking at the city county building. Well, up on the 13th floor, just a few hours before this bombshell, the chief was sitting before city council. Mere hours before resigning, Chief Warren Evans gave city council members an update on the federal consent decree the police department is under. And he received rave reviews, we're told, from the federal monitor. And that's why council's president believes Evans is as shocked as some council members. Because who resigns after that kind of compliment and that kind of louding? from the federal monitor. So it just, it, it appears, the timing of this appears suspicious as if he didn't resign. Um, but, you know, I am in no way second guessing the mayor. I had a nice conversation with him after the meeting and he gave no indication that he wouldn't be here. He was very engaged in the business of running the police department. And so I'm shocked and surprised. We've had three police chiefs now in three years. So uh, in the top spot in terms of uh, the police department, uh, we have to make sure that we get the best, the, the most qualified individuals. I have to say it, it is not a surprise to me. Because? Well, I, you know, I've been, you know, I've been in city government now for about 13 years, so you kind of pick up some, you know, some contacts and some sources who kind of feed you info. I've been hearing for the past several weeks that, uh, that this might be coming down. And hopefully the mayor is going to give us much more information. He will be holding a news conference here along with the new interim chief, Godby, and uh, the deputy mayor. And uh, that's going to be at 530. And we're going to be carrying it live for you here on Action News. Reporting live downtown for now, I'm Val Clark, Channel 7, Action News.